Hey, uh, what's going on, fellas? Uh, it's been a minute since I've uploaded, so I just wanted to give you a quick update video. Uh, so I wanted to talk about uh, confronting yourself uh, in order to uh, create change in your life. And uh, I was actually thinking about this after the um, uh, Mike Tyson, Jake Paul fight, which was a total disaster. <laughs> but, uh, you know, people can go through life and, you know, pretend, you know, things like, especially in that regards to that fight where, uh, the reality of things is, you know, Mike was not ready to ready to compete, especially being as old and he's obviously sick. Uh, so, but you know, the the marketing and everything else, you know, flash and glamour and things and acting like it's going to be the next big thing, and it turned out to be a huge disappointment. So, uh, that's kind of in the same lines of a lot of things you see in life, where uh, every, everything we th we see that's glittering, we think it's gold. In reality, there's a there's more layers to it. And I think that comes from uh, folks who don't confront who they are and then project or create an image that they want people to see them as, but then they, they hold back uh, the, the true version of themselves. And if anything, with this channel, uh, since it's a kind of a combination of tennis and my own personal journey, I'm trying to show the, the inner workings of things as a, just a normal person on the planet. Uh, and in trying to relay my story as a guy who has to deal with the same insecurities that a lot of people deal with, but I'm trying to uh, do work on these in a healthy way and not just pretend and be fake, uh, which is a lot of things in life. So uh, that comes from confronting to yourself and understanding what makes you uncomfortable and then spending a lot of time in that discomfort. So uh, for a lot of guys, it's it's being alone or not figuring out how to how to operate on your own. And that's a difficult challenge, uh, and, and there are ways to do that. So uh, you just have to jump in with both feet and then realize that there are other people on the journey as well uh, that are going through those really tough moments and things that you don't even see or hear about, but they're dealing with internally, and they just don't know how to communicate it. So uh, for me, uh, I'm doing fine. Um, it's doing my thing over here in Germany, but I also have some fitness goals uh, that I'm working on. So uh, I'd like to break uh, 200 pounds on the bench press. Uh, so I'm probably about another three or four months out from that. And then uh, I need to lose some weight. So I want to get down to 150 pounds. And then eventually I break my distance record of 10 miles uh, running. Uh, currently it's eight miles. Uh, so I'm working on that as well. And it's been a cool journey. And I've had to do, having to confront a lot of things uh, in, in regards to that those at least those fitness goals uh it's definitely not been easy but i'm going to keep uh keep chugging along on those so um if there's anything you can learn from my story and, and why i post on here is that um you you have to find a way to confront yourself and i have done that and and i know a lot of things from uh you know military service and things that help my confidence but it's always something I struggle with, so I'm working on the fitness, and obviously the tennis has been a great vehicle for that because it helps me deal with these emotions while I'm on court and do them in a productive and safe environment, and not self, uh, you know, self destruct, so to speak, with a you know a bunch of negative behavior. Uh, so keep working on yourselves, and if you know that you know you're uncomfortable with something, just know that you're on the right track. And if you're doing uh, or pursuing areas that are not healthy for you. Uh, that's not going to be uh, beneficial for you long term because we all have to have the consequences of our actions no matter what we do in life. So I'm going to keep on the grind. I uh, just want to uh, give you a quick post, a uh, quick update, and then I'll catch you in the next one.